You know what day it is? Banana day. Come on, baby. Fenway Park. We're in Boston. We've just been walking around. We just got into some interesting topics on hitting. Coach Drew. Oh, I don't even One know. One of the most begin. controversial topics of oh, hitting. Oh, no, I don't know if I want to talk about that. The wind is blowing out to right field. Rack so day. our Tanner Thomas day. One of the two is going to hit a home run. We're going to see. We'll keep you posted on the rest of the day, rest of the game. Boston is super cool. It's a beautiful day out, and it's blowing out to right field, so we might see some bombs. So we'll see. We got these guys. It's starting to warm up. Lots of yellow. We'll see what happens. Got a tates, lattes. All right, we're heading over to the plaza party. So Drew and I are giving away. I'm giving away some hats, and Drew's giving away uh, firm handshake. some firm handshakes to the first people that find us. So we'll keep you posted on how that goes, but check this out. This is a pretty cool view. This is what it looks like as we walk to Fenway. All the architecture is cool. Oh, wow. Who is that guy? There's only one yellow jersey on the road right now. There's about to be a lot. Just kidding. There's two right here. First sighting. Look at that. Green. I see monsters. The monsters of the green variety right there. Just one in left field. There we go. Look at that. You think Greg's going to hit a home run? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Go party animals. What about Tanner? Do you think if you had to put your money, Rack or Tanner, home run, who, who do you say? Oh, that's a tough guess. I mean, honestly, like Rack will have your DH stat line. So it's either 0 for 4 with 4Ks or 1 for 4 with a 3Ks and a bomb. Tanner Thomas, a little bit, little bit more on the margin. I'm copying him word for word. Thank you for <laughs> exposing me. As a matter, matter of fact, that is exactly <laughs> what he told us last night. I'm saying this so it doesn't sound like I'm being offensive. Because I'm actually quoting the man for himself, you know? Tanner Thomas would go 2 for 3 with a double in single and rack is going to be the one hit the bomb. Here first. Woo! So check this out. This is the stadium and this is the iconic sit go sign. Plus we got a whoop. Shout out to all you guys. But the secret code of sit go, Coach Murph was telling me this, is if you sound it out really carefully, it says see it go. There you go. Thanks Coach Murph. Everyone jaywalks in Boston, but this is actually during the walk time. Speaking of jaywalking, sometimes <laughs> this happens. So all these locks have secret meanings on them. Can't tell you what it is because they're a secret. Not a whole lot of yellow yet. Lots of green because the Celtics are in the finals, but uh, I would imagine that we're gonna start to see some yellow here soon. Here we go. Here's a little bit of yellow and pink and black. Oh my gosh, pink and black. Yep, definitely got some bananas coming up. Lots of bananas. Here we go. Look, it's the green monster. Just got through security. Here's what it looks like inside. Check out this cool poster. Ted's Creamy Root Beer. Pretty cool. Look at that. We got players out here. Can you see Tanner? Oh, there's Tanner. Oh my gosh, we gotta go see him. Oh, we're so, video? Video, vlog. You're gonna hit a home run to right field? Calling it right now. You heard it here first. The man. Home run today? Dude, absolutely. Come on. So Bill told me he left the stadium in BP, was hooking balls, hooking balls, finally got into one, backspun it, left the stadium in between the DraftKings sign and the light pole. So we'll see if he does it in the game. Look at these guys, the banana and Wally the green monster. Pretty cool. We're trying to go get up on top of the green monster. We'll let you know how it looks. DR is on a mission. He was like, this is a life dream right here. Sheesh, look at this. Damn, all the players right there. Look at how pretty that field is. So it looks like people are actually coming in from there. We came in from a different entrance, but this must be the grand entrance and where all the players are. Here's the monster right here. Valpol. Sheesh. Look at that. That is a beauty. What do you think, Drew? This is unreal. Look a lot of this. history right here. A lot of history. One of the best ballparks. One of the most magical yes. ballparks that there is. Most historic. It's pretty sweet. Let's see. So it looks like they're coming in from center field and then maybe going into the green monster. Don't drop it. To then, to then get into their seats. They got all the World Series trophies right down there too. It's pretty cool. So I think I see Rack. If you look, let's see if we can zoom in on him. Oh, I don't think I can zoom this way. Let me go the other way. I think he's right there. You can see the flow. I think that's him. Bam, look how cool this is. All the people on the warning track getting ready and then it looks like they go through the green monster in order to get into the field pretty awesome here's the view one more time pretty cool city in the background here's what you hit it into when you hit it over the green monster here's a 0.5 view look at how big this place is so cool look at that so we got denied going down because it's vip only but check this out i'm gonna show i'm gonna flip it and show it to you here's 
Where it is right there. Those are all the people. Bam. We're going to see if we can get Rack's attention. It's kind of far away. So look, we got all these players right here. Bam. Tanner Thomas. All these guys signing. Pretty cool. There's no way we're going to get his attention. We're just going to keep walking around. Off to Pesky Pool. Okay, so we're going to go check out Pesky's Pool here in a second. But first, the red seat. It's where Ted Williams hit the furthest home run. Which is crazy because he hit that home run back before the baseballs like flew. Before they, they were all loose. So who knows how far it would have gone with like a new baseball. Update on the hat. Still no one has found us for a hat. So we'll see if we even give them away. So this is the red seat right here. You can look. This is like 500 feet. This is how far that ball was hit from Ted Williams. And uh, again, it was with the old baseballs and old bats. That's how far away it is, like 500 something feet. So I'm not 100% on this. Someone's gonna have to fact check me and put it down in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that this bullpen right here was added because of Ted Williams and him being a right-handed hitter because you can see Pesky's pole is right there. It's pretty short, but it's like it's straight back and he gets to 380 real quick. So I think they put the fence in to help Ted Williams get more home runs. That could be Yankee Stadium. I'm not sure. Someone let me know down in the comments. This is a catcher's favorite place right here, the bullpen. We got some materials, some chairs, some perfectly manicured bullpen. And then bam, look at that. So cool. We got a yellow ball right there waiting to get warmed up with. Okay, so we're coming up on Pesky's Bowl. I forget the guy's exact name. But basically, there was a really big home run that was in the playoffs that curved right around the, the pole. And then that's how it's Pesky's Pole. And now everyone signs it, so we'll go take a look. So you can see this is Pesky's Pole. Look at all those signatures on there. All the way up. I guess it doesn't go all the way up because you can't reach that high. But uh, there's a lot of them. Taylor is really standing out. For you are, Taylor. Nicely done. Maybe it's too swift. So this is pretty cool. If you look at the bases, they're yellow. Sorry if my hands are a little shaky. That's a pretty intense zoom. 15x the lights just turned on getting ready that's cool i promise the screen doesn't look like that in real life it's just the camera if you were to hit a home run here what part of the park would you hit it in uh, the only chance i would have would be pesky pole it's off the early that's the only chance you think i'm hitting it over the green monster i don't know about that bill said that he hit it out of the stadium left yeah between the draft king sign and the lights right there. That's where he hit it out. I mean, that wind must have been blowing. Shout out, Bill. Yeah, if I hit it, I'm hooking a ball. I'm hooking a ball. Well, you get the <laughs> left, I got a poke. Yeah, you got a poke. I give it a pesky poke. You got the, the flare. So, weird fun fact about this. This right here used to be my job about two years ago. That was my job. I would come over to facilities like this, work for a company called Cintas. I would sell soap and paper towels and everything. And now I make baseball content and get to coach kids online around the world how to get better at catching. Your life can change pretty quick. It's pretty crazy. The internet is wild. And the people who can teach, who can inspire, who can educate, can do that. Before the big rush, the grills are steaming. Smells good. This is a King's Hawaiian Roll Station. This is like one of my favorite foods. So excited to get this. We got the dad bought cheerleading squad. Some pulled pork King's Hawaiian sandwiches. Here we go. Drew's got a little Philly cheesesteak and some chips, baby. You're a party animal. GG Murph. The rack fam in the house. Getting ready to go. It's starting to fill up. Here we go. We were walking upstairs and then we just saw all the players are right over here. We're gonna go say what's up. We'll see if we can see any of them right here. We got a few of them. Let's see. Boom, there they are. Let's go find a rack. There's a Disney princess. Which one is that? Which Disney princess is that? True. Pop, pop quiz. Do you know? No clue. Banana Ella. Damn it, Jesse. The numbers are at the top. It looks like they're in numerical order, but Rack's 15. 88. 88. 49 are right where 15 should be. I think he's down there. Oh, I smell a 15. There we go, Coach Rack. There's number 15, Rack. Good old DR. Look at this right here. Crazy. Oh, what's Coach Murphy? Hey, there we go. Wild. Do you have any people? That's crazy. So, we just got Coach Rack's camera. We were totally, we were totally sell it for a bunch of videos with it, but the camera's dead. So, <laughs> makes sense. We gotta sell it. Yeah. Right now. So, Rack, touch this. Damn, look at all this. 
One of the moms just said, Lions back there, guys. We've been waiting for almost an hour to get Coach Rack's signature. Crazy. So the girl said that Rack is the most popular, and that it's all 13-year-old boys, and then Jackson Olsen is the next most popular, and it's 12-year-old girls and moms. We got Brandon Crosby in the house with the flash. Woo! You got a word for the people? Hey, man. Do God, for God, man, always. Always. There we go. There we go. We got Dalton Malden. Life is sweet like honey. Songbird, one of the best guys that I know. And I will say, there are a lot more girls in Dalton's line than Rack's line. Pretty funny. He's such a stud. I love that guy. He's pretty crazy. I think that's very true. So Look at this. Look at how cool that is. We got the camera back. We got the camera back. I'm gonna go switch the batteries. Uh, thank you so much for bringing that for me, man. That was, that was nuts. Get a home run. Thanks, man. We got Trey. Just got the hat. Where are you from? Colorado. Came all the way from Colorado. Where are you going? Uh, Cooper Sound. Let's go. What are you most excited for right now, today? Trick plays. Trick plays. There we go. What's your favorite trick play? Uh, Behind the back, Bill Roy. There we go. I love it. Me and Burr are right here in line to get a Philly cheesesteak. And Jeff was like, hey, check this out. He pulls up his phone and he shared this video with this boy. So cool. How old are you boys? 11 and 8. 11 and 8. That's what it's about, man. Let's go. That's so cool. We got Don Rack trying to say what's up to D Sarm in the media well. <laughs> We got the gold beats, baby. Oh, you want them? Fine. They did a home run derby. Yeah, yeah, and they just yeah. tossed out gold beats and did a baby thing. There's a lot of stuff going on. Butt out in left field in front of the monster too. Be cool. Thank you. Oh. Yes, yes. The base is flaring. Great time for a three-run bomb wreck.
it's safe to say that Murph loves Applebot. Let's go. So pretty much everyone has left. We're gonna hang out, and see if we can try to get on the field. We'll see. We got kicked out, so we'll see him after. So one last video actually showing you what it looks like in here. Empty ballpark now, all the way around. Pretty cool. This is the man who made the legend. How was it? What was the coolest shot? Oh, obviously the play. Yeah, well, so oh, the play. That yeah. was sick. That was cool. But we did. We got mic'd up with Ryan, and he made a between the legs. Bro, which I think is cool. I haven't, yeah, right, Crocs. I haven't seen it yet, but I think it came out really well, especially if it was like mic'd up. And he was doing little interviews in the field, so yeah, a lot. When you meet someone who's the best in the world at what they do, listen to them. You're the man. Bro. You're the man. All the Boston Red Sox logos in 10 seconds. There you go.